Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, I would like to let you know uh, my goal is to help you to cook every day. Uh, because I'm fully convinced that home cooking is the only way uh, for you to save your life. Uh, I know this is a little bit of an exaggeration, but I'm going to go with that. Uh, I'm the creator of the Fast Cooking System. Uh, the term FAST is the acronym for Flavor Chasing, uh, Advanced Prepping, Stir Frying, and Template Based Cooking. Uh, I truly believe stir frying is the most efficient way to cook. And in order to stir fry, uh, you need to have a wok. Uh, I'm a great fan of stainless steel wok, uh, which is the wok that I use in all my cooking for the video. Uh, I'm going to show you in this video how to maintain, take care, and clean your stainless steel wok if you have one. And if you don't have a stainless steel wok and have a cast iron or a carbon steel wok, uh, you should watch this video anyway uh, because this idea is the same. So okay, uh, without further ado, let's go into the kitchen and see what we could do. You probably noticed that uh, every time I start to cook, uh, my wok is clean and spotless. And that's what I really like about stainless steel wok because I can keep it that way all the time. Uh, this is my 14-inch uh, Cuisine Art stainless steel wok. I really like this wok uh, because it is also very light. Uh, I use my spot seasoning method. I have no difficult uh, to keep the wok with its non-stick property. Uh, depending on what I'm going to cook, uh, some dishes I will season them a little bit longer. Uh, for instance, when I cook an egg dish, I usually will let uh, the oil to smoke gently for a little bit longer, uh, usually up to maybe 20 seconds, because egg is very difficult uh, to cook. They tend to stick very easily. As you can see with this quick egg dish, I have no problem at all. Uh, the next uh, dish I'm going to demonstrate here is chicken. Now, chicken tend to stick to the wok a little bit more, uh, depend on the, what you have coated the chicken with. In this case, I coated it with cornstarch. Uh, it tends to stick a little bit more, and you see some residue left on the surface of the wok. Uh, however, in general, they did really well. Now, uh, I also used the wok to do pan fry. In this case, I'm pan frying some steak. Uh, stick actually also do very well. If you have the wok well seasoned, they do not stick to the wok. The trick is that uh, uh, don't move the stick right after you put it onto the wok, and uh, you should let it fry until it starts to brown. Uh, what that did is that it kind of sealed in the protein and it prevented it from uh, stick to the surface of the wok. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, the next food ingredient I would like to demonstrate is that I pan fry some shrimp. Uh, I spot seasoned the wok uh, before I add the shrimp, uh, which were coated with cornstarch, and they did really well and do not have any tendency to stick to the surface of the wok. Uh, vegetables are among the easiest uh, ingredients uh, to stir fry in the wok. Uh, they do not stick to the wok at all, unless you have a sauce that contains uh, lots of sugar. Uh, here I'm cooking a dish with multiple ingredients. As you can see, that uh, I have no problem with any of them uh, stick to the bottom of the wok. Uh, usually the key is that uh, make sure you uh, stir it uh, regularly uh, to prevent anything settled to the bottom of the wok for a long period of time. Uh, most of the time when you're cooking a dish with a sauce, uh, that also um, provides uh, a way to prevent things from uh, sticking to the bottom of the wok because the fluid will continue uh, to um, moderate the temperature as long as you stir it regularly. Uh, so as you can see that uh, about 90% of the time, uh, you will not have any trouble cleaning the wok. As in this case, um, I have uh, dished that with some sauce. Uh, all I need to do is that to rinse the wok first, uh, and then I use my wok brush. And usually within about uh, 20 to 30 seconds, I will have the wok clean and uh, bring it back to its original shiny and spotless uh, condition. And next, I want to demonstrate to you uh, when food will stick and burn to the bottom of the wok and what you're going to do with it. Uh, here is a pork and mushroom dish. You notice that uh, some of the food particles that burn to the bottom of the wok. So what I do is that uh, I use a water bottle and I squeeze a small amount of water directly right to that spot. 
and then I use the wok spatula uh, to scrape it off and as you can see that it works very well and I call this method uh, the spot cleaning method because you clean right at the spot where the burnt particles are located uh, this is essentially a method of how you clean the wok uh, as you cook uh, in this particular scenario my problem started because uh, I used the wok to cook another dish uh, before I cooked this uh, vegetable uh, since the two uh, components are going to combine together but however uh, that previous dish has a, a sauce and the sauce start to burn to the surface of the wok. Uh, the technique is pretty much the same. Uh, I find a spot that where I have the burn particles located and I use a water bottle and I squeeze some water right to that spot and then I use the wok spatula uh, to scrape off and again uh, once you have the water on that spot the wok spatula does a really good job and within a very short time you basically are able to clean the surface of the wok using this simple method. Uh, here is another example that I cook uh, a meat uh, dish ahead of this which again the meat is going to combine with these vegetables but the meat left some residues on the surface of the wok so when I heat up the wok they start to burn into the bottom of the wok so again uh, the solution is the same I find a spot where there are residues burn to the surface and I uh, deposit some water over it and I use my wok spatula uh, to scrape it off and it worked very effective as you can see that uh, within just a few seconds I was able to remove most of the burn residue left on the surface of the wok uh, in this example is due to my mistake I do not put in enough oil uh, and the stove is too hot so things got burned very quickly again I using the same technique by dropping a little bit of uh, water into the area that need to be clean and the wok spatula are able to detach that readily uh, the next example I would like to demonstrate to you is that uh, uh, I was cooking some ground pork with a potato and I was distracted so I left the uh, dish sit on the stove uh, without stirring it when I come back I noticed that the ground pork at the bottom has burned it to the surface of the wok uh, I used the same technique I found the spot there where the, the burned particles located again I uh, squeezed some water right over it as you can see the wok spatula I was able to remove it uh, readily uh, dissolving the burn particles at the bottom of the wok uh, not only uh, help cleaning the wok but uh, it also adds flavor to the dish uh, particularly when you want to create a light sauce I store my water in a uh, squeeze bottle for this precise reason uh, so that I can uh, deposit the water in uh, accurately right at the spot where the burn particles is located uh, this is what I do most of the time however there are times when uh, uh, my wok is so badly burned and for reasons that I do not want to dissolve the burn particle then I will just uh, remove all the food ingredients and I will add water uh, to the empty wok while I have the wok being on the stove uh, this method of uh, cleaning uh, used basically hot water uh, was taught to me uh, by my friend Tom uh, he is a professional chef and restaurant owner uh, he used all standard steel cookware in his restaurant and this is how he cleans them if you want to learn more about this cleaning method uh, you can take a look at this video uh, the effectiveness of this method cannot be overstated when you have a badly burned wok all you have to do after you do this you take it over the sink and you rinse it with uh, running water as you can see uh, the debris uh, come off really easily if you have not done so it will take you hours uh, in scrubbing them uh, by then the wok is pretty much clean and then I will get out my wok brush and uh, within uh, 15 to 30 seconds I restore the wok back to its original uh, clean and spotless state right. now I'm ready to cook again uh, to me my wok is like a good friend I take care of it and it takes care of me I, I now use my wok every day I use it for almost everything I do in the kitchen in fact I truly believe that uh, uh, if I have only one cooking utensil the wok will be it 
and I would not need anything else. Uh, the stainless steel wok is ideal for me. Uh, the first reason is that it is light. It's lighter than many other woks that are out there. Uh, when you turn 70 years old and you want to cook every day, I think you will appreciate what I am saying. Uh, secondly, uh, I cook on a glass top electric range. So uh, I need something that will not change shape when they are heated up. For example, carbon steel wok will do that. At the end result, they will wobble. But the stainless steel wok will not change shape at all. So from that standpoint, it is perfect. And lastly, this is just my personal thing. I, I like my cookware uh, clean and spotless. Uh, so uh, I find the stainless steel wok is perfect because I can clean it easily. Uh, I need to thank Tom, uh, my college roommate. Now he is a big time restaurant owner and chef. Uh, he taught me how to uh, clean the stainless steel wok. And third to last is that I need to be not too afraid of my wok. I need to be able to use it in any cooking capacity that I wish. And in fact, that has been the case. Uh, your choice of wok may be different from mine. Uh, some of uh, my viewers like the cast iron wok, and that's fine. I love cast iron wok too. But from the functional standpoint, it just does not work for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you do, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.